Hello everyone, I am Dr. Chun. Today, let's go over how to scan Pung Block. To treat the patient with an osteoarthritis, the moderate pain control is very helpful for the patient. One of the nerve blocking technique is called the Pung Block. It stands for Paracapsular Nerve Group Block. The block looks like the arrow shows on the screen. When we scan the area, we can use an external landmark, ASIS, to be our landmark. This structure is deeper, so let's use a convex probe to scan. First, let's start scanning in the transverse view. The depth is about 10 centimeters, depending on patient's body size. As you can see, the bright structure is the iliac bone. The inner part is the iliac muscle. Now, let's move the probe down a little. Slowly observing every details, you will see another small structure is called AIS. After seeing the AIS, let's move the probe inwards by tilt up and tilt down a little. In the middle, we can see a higher level structure above the bone. This is the psoas muscle tendon. Move the probe inwards to the AIS. Rotate the probe closer to the pubis bone structure, tilt up and tilt down a little. This place of the bone is where the injection goes in and the junction of the psoas muscle tendon. Once sufficient sedative is available, it will be injected at the joint junction where the arrow shows, allowing it to disperse within this area. Slowly observe, this is important before we can operate. Then we can block the femoral nerve, accessory obturator nerve, and obturator nerve to achieve effective analgesia, which is a small articular branch. It is to control and block the pain. This will help reducing the pain of the patient. I hope this is useful for your practice. That's all for today's tutorial. I will see you next time.